The U.S. accuses Qatar of supporting terrorism and then turns around and sells F-15 fighters to the same country and continues to use the al Udaid air base. Clearly, politics is all very well, but nothing can hold the business of America. America's giant al Udaid air base in Qatar is a mini military city about 17 miles from the capital city of Doha. With 10,000 U.S. military personnel, 120 aircraft of all kinds, including fighters and bombers, al Udaid is the home of the U.S. Combined Operations Center, which controls U.S. and allied air power in the region, especially airstrikes over Islamic states that target in Syria and Iraq. Given that it's a little odd how U.S. President Donald Trump saw fit to accuse Qatar of terrorism, quote, The nation of Qatar, unfortunately, has historically been a funder of terrorism at a very high level, end quote. And then a few days later, Trump's government announced plans to sell $12 billion worth of F-15 fighters to Qatar. Well, it's not clear if this figure is over and above the Obama administration's approval of the sale of 72 F-15 jets, cost of a little more than $21 billion to Qatar. U.S. Defense Secretary James Mattis tried his best to explain the contradiction of selling weapons to a country the U.S. had accused of backing terrorism. I would simply point out that we have interoperability uh, capability with Qatar, and I believe that Prince Thani inherited uh, a difficult, very tough situation, and he's trying to uh, turn uh, the society in the right direction. But we all agree that funding of any kind of terrorist group is uh, inimical to all of our interests, and I believe that it's moving in the right direction. We've got to try and help sort this out with them all. The Qataris were, of course, delighted. Quote, this is, of course, proof that U.S. institutions are with us, but we have never doubted that. Our militaries are like brothers. America's support for Qatar is deep-rooted and not easily influenced by political changes. End quote. Clearly, for Donald Trump, the prospect of making good on his campaign commitment to boost the U.S. job markets, not to mention the profits for aircraft maker Boeing, won the argument. The same motivation must have driven the Obama administration's decision to sell 120 Boeing built passenger aircraft to arch enemy Iran. The current administration is now going through the motions of reviewing the deal. I believe Iran's actions uh, speak louder than anyone's words, and they are going to incite the, uh, the international community in that region uh, to try to block them in the various destabilizing efforts they are, are undertaking right now from Syria, where Assad remains in power today because of Iran's actions, to Yemen, where they have been contributing uh, in an unhelpful way to a war that is uh, marooning millions of people uh, and leaving them vulnerable to uh, starvation and health problems and violence. Boeing says it will abide by whatever decision the government comes to, but it's important to understand that money talks in Washington and nobody can accuse the Trump administration of not being business friendly. Bureau Report, Weon.